Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, and we normally go uh, thrift shopping on Saturday. In fact, if you've watched any of the vlogs from this week, normally there's a couple days per week that I go to the thrift shop, and that has not happened uh, this week. And the reason for that is because our house is so cluttered with stuff. Here, let me walk you back to the office. I gotta walk over the dog here. But even our back office here, which we use half of it to kind of store stuff, is just a total uh, mess and disorganized. The reason, so what we're doing today is we're gonna go through the whole house and clean it and everything and uh, get rid of a bunch of stuff. Uh, about a year ago, and that's what I wanna talk about in today's video is called uh, essentialism versus minimalism. And when I first started a couple years ago, you know, I heard about minimalists and minimalism, and I decided that I was going to, you know, basically become one. Um, and then, you know, as I studied it more and as I tried to do it, I realized that it just doesn't fit my lifestyle and it's not what I wanna do. Uh, you know, the best way that I can describe minimalism from my understanding is just, you know, you live on the absolute basic of what you need to kind of live through life and all that. And that's great, you know, if that's something you want to do, no quipes towards that, but it just wasn't really working for me. And then I listened to a podcast with Tim Ferriss, and I cannot remember the guy's name, uh, but he was talking about essentialism. And essentialism, basically, you know, the definition he gave for it, and again, I wish I could remember his name so I can quote him, but was less, but more. Um, so basically what I've tried to do over the last two years of my life is every once in a while we, I kind of go through my house and now that I've gotten married to my wife, we go through the house and get rid of just anything that is unnecessary. Unnecessary clutter, things we don't use, et cetera, et cetera. And we either sell those, donate them to Goodwill or something, or just you know throw some stuff in the trash that isn't you know good to donate to somebody else or sell. Um, so that's what we're again doing today. We're gonna go through the house, just clean it really good, go through all the stuff that we have, get rid of anything we don't need, and then, uh, you know, go from there. And then hopefully that'll allow us, you know, plus we wanna get everything in that back office organized. Uh, that way we have room and stuff to store more things that we buy. Um, and even, you know, if we don't have enough room to then figure out what we need to do in terms of that. So that's the plan for today. So we're gonna clean the house. Later tonight I have my live stream. So uh, that's basically the goals for the day is just to clean and organize the house, clean and organize that back room, and then live stream this evening. Um, so let's get it done. All right guys, so cleaning the house is going well. Things are starting to look pretty good in there. Once we get it all finished, I'll just kind of show you guys, since I showed you guys at the beginning. Right now I'm getting a bunch of the Christmas stuff and things from winter put away, storing them in the garage. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, I, essentialism, you know, it really has changed my life in a way in that, you know, before, like even with clothes, you know, I, you know, it's involved more than just the stuff we keep at our house. Like for example, my clothes, I only own three pairs of jeans now, like five t-shirts, three button up shirts. Like I went through and just made a list of how many of each item I wanted to keep. And now like when I buy something new, I'll re I, I have to replace something that I already have to keep that number. And it just, it really cuts down on that. Um, number one, it stops you from buying a lot of crap stuff. Like instead of buying all these cheap t-shirts and stuff, you invest a little bit of money in shirts that are gonna last you longer, that you enjoy better. You actually really look at the clothes you buy and make sure that you like how they fit on you, how they look on you, things like that. It just, you know, overall what it does is it just causes you to be mindful of the things you're buying, which is what I really like about it. Instead of just wasting a bunch of money on things that you might only use once or wear once or whatever, so. Like I said, it's definitely been a, uh, a cool thing uh, since we started doing it, something I enjoy, um, you know, and I definitely recommend that everybody give it a try. You know, if you've ever thought, oh, I'd, I'd like to be a minimalist, but I just don't know how I could do it, check out essentialism. It's, it's very, very similar with just the, the distinction that you're not trying to live on the, minim the minimal amount, but you're trying to live on a smaller amount, but higher quality, so. All right, we gotta finish cleaning up this house and stuff, and then, like I said, I got to live stream here later tonight, so getting all that done. All right, let's go. 
All right guys, so we got the house pretty much clean and organized. You can see it all looks a lot better. We did the house, so like the living room, the kitchen, I mean we like deep cleaned everything. So the counters are all fresh, the sinks, the windows, the bathroom, all that. We did not, I cleaned my office, like my desk and that half of it and everything. Um, however, we did not clean this yet. The reason being is once we started trying to tackle this, well two reasons. First off, we realized we needed a couple like totes or something that we could store like the stuffed animals down there and stuff in to help us kind of organize it better. So we went to Walmart and got some of those. Then my wife's dad, my father-in-law, uh, ended up being admitted to the ER. Um, we're not quite sure what yet or anything, so I don't want to really say anything yet because we just don't know yet. Um, so we're going to have to finish this part. We got everything else except for just organizing this, which we're going to finish tomorrow morning. But anyways, so I just want to say I encourage you guys, if you guys have never experimented with essentialism or minimalism, Again, you know, I'm not perfect at it by any means. I'm not no, you know, essentialism guru or anything, but uh, it's definitely something I think you should check out. It has really impacted and changed mine and my wife's life for the better. Um, it just, it takes so much stress off you when you don't just have a bunch of extra clutter around your house, extra junk in your life. And it doesn't just apply to stuff. I mean, it also, it's, it's this mindset that you don't need everything in the world. You just need, you know, the things you're really passionate about, the things you really care about, and then just pursue having better of that stuff. So anyways, guys, that's it for today's vlog. I'm actually getting ready to live stream right now. If you're a gamer fan, League of Legends, Dead by Daylight, Apex Legends, those are the type of games I typically play, make sure you follow me over at omg it's derek.tv and until next time hit the like button if you like this video hit the subscribe button if you love me and until next time peace out everybody right here right here chilling with my friends for another year i would walk away from the spotlight for the good life